Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on. What message does the spirit have for you for this timeless reading? Oh. Okay, past energy. We have, oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The Hermit. So maybe something happened here that had you going within, going, um, or you could have been dealing with a Virgo. But this is learning something new, going within, searching, healing. Okay, maybe you needed to be alone. Let's see what else we have here for you. Oh, it's, this is important communication. So I would think that you were destined to be alone and find out some kind of important information. This could be through meditation or some kind of spiritual practice. Okay, so now what's happening in the present for you? I think you might have came aware of something here. We have the hermit again. Very much being alone or maybe you want to be alone. Maybe you're like, okay, I need to be alone. I need to think things through. Or you might be doing something on your own. Branching out on your own. Maybe doing your own business or something. Let's see. Four of Pentacles. Maybe you're doing something, but you're keeping it to yourself. You're not letting anybody else know what you're doing. Ah, it's very lucky time for you. Whatever you're doing is bringing in something very nice for you. We got the clover. So the, with the clover, that's um, it could be a chance meeting or taking a chance or a lucky opportunity, a reward. Of course, we have the Wheel of Fortune here, and we have in the past, and then we have this. So some, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Seems like it's very good. Okay, what is the hidden influences? This is the devil, Capricorn energy. Okay. The Emperor. This is your energy, the Emperor. But you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Oh, jeez, oh, I just lost all the cards. These cards are slippery. <laughs> they were just went flying out. Okay, hang on a second. Wow, that was crazy. They are very slippery. You know, this is weird because I'm, I did a lot of reading. The first time they really actually slipped like that, but they are so slippery. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to pause this so I can straighten them up. Okay, that was crazy. Someone might be a little guard. This way I put the cards up, though. I can't, I couldn't look at them because there were way too many, and that was just, it was just slippery. <laughs> slippery cards, wow. But that might mean something. Maybe someone makes you nervous, or something got, um, like something got crazy or something emperor your energy in power in charge a devil here could be just dealing with a capricorn or it could be someone trying to take control or someone being obsessive someone could be trying to really be obsessive about taking charge too okay let's see get another card on this i was pretty lucky those these cards are so slippery that that oh ace of pentacles i got on the bottom here let's see oh Someone is trying to, this is like loss, this is a theft, this it was, is, um, I don't know, there's so much with the mice. It's, um, damage, nagging, fear, costly repairs, a theft. So hidden influences. Okay, if you take your car someplace to be repaired, be, you know, maybe even to get a second opinion, maybe they're trying to rip you off or um, or someone in control like a boss or someone is interested in you. They might be obsessed with you. They might be um, causing you stress. Five is also changes though. This, or this was all good and then we get to this and it's like a little crazy here. Okay, of course it's not going to be for everyone either. Oh, I got these cards backwards. Okay, let's see. That goes that way. Oh, look at that. They ain't got one. What is this card doing here? Holy moly. 
<laughs> I don't know where that came from. Okay, let me pause this. Okay, I have to tell you, this is weird. The pipe card was from last reading, and this is like, I'm towards the end of these readings. I still have the earth signs to do, but it's like, this came out of the, these, with the cards when I picked them up. I don't remember it shuffling them being in the deck here, but this is like the peace pipe. This is something tranquil. Someone might actually smoke a pipe, or you might have an ancestor or someone that passed on that smoked a pipe. Their message is coming through here. I'm going to put this on the table here because I think this has some kind of significance. I'll just put it there. Someone be, might be around you. Maybe this makes sense with this energy here. It could have been a Capricorn that smoked a pipe. But I always think of the pipe as being very peaceful. Or maybe someone smokes a, a pipe as far as um, pot or something. I don't know. But I'm seeing it more as... A, a comfort of a, a relaxing the person at peace here with the pipe peace pipe wow okay that is crazy okay Aries <laughs> let's see what your energy is like everything to me is signs or messages so and two fives definitely changes ten of cups so ten of cups is your energy happy home life happy around your home something doing with your home you're very happy or are you about to be let's see Clarify this. Ooh, judgment. Something might be coming back around about your home, maybe. A judgment call. Or maybe you're deciding on a, a different home or changing or someone coming back around. This is um, also romance. Uh, a romantic attraction. Yeah, emotional um, feelings for someone. Or, or maybe about your home. Okay, so let's see about the influence of others. Death card. So, Scorpio energy, the ending. It could be a rebirth. It could be a transformation. There's definitely an ending to something. We have judgment and we have ending here. It's very interesting. Okay. And we have here the Five of Swords. This could be an end of conflict, an end of battles, an end of fighting with someone. Another five. You're definitely going through some changes here. We have two fives there. We have five there. This two and three comes to five. Yeah, there's definitely changes for you. Okay. Now, the Death card with the Five of Swords... You might be walking away from something saying, you know, I'm done with this. Now, this is could be someone more mature, a mature person, older person. This could also be purity, um, morality, um, virtue, sensuality. Wow, this could be an ending to that too. Or there's going to be something coming in because of it with the lilies. Something about someone's ethics, maybe. Maybe someone is stopping something because they don't like how someone's ethics were. Okay, well, you'll know what that means if it's meant for you. Okay, what should you do? What should you do? We have the two of wands. Okay, so you're going to need to make a decision. There's a choice here. And Six of Cups. It's going to be a choice about some, maybe someone from the past and someone new. Or going back through the past. Memories from the past. You're going to have to make a choice here. And we have here. But there's something about... You're going to have to be sly. You're going to have to be slick about this. You're going to have to um, be very clever. Whatever decision you make here. Okay. Could be something about work too. With the box card. Okay. So now what is the possible outcome? King of Cups. Okay, so it looks like there's a King of Cups coming in for you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Someone with a lot of love for you. I think that's a new person. And we have here the Nine of Swords. Might be stressing over this, or maybe they are. Um, but this seems like someone's coming in with a lot of love for you. And we have here, and it's coming in with the Pegasus. So th they're coming in with good news. Okay, let's get the King of Cups. 
I think this might be a better choice for you, this King of Cups. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we have the Ace of Swords coming in and speak their truth. You also might be cutting out something that does not fit you, does not suit you. Making the right decision, probably. The Wheel of Fortune again. Destiny, divine timing. Something faded. I think this new person is faded. The old person is like maybe you just had something you had to go through karma. You're going to get gain some knowledge here. This could also be that maybe someone's writing a book, a manuscript, or this is secrets being revealed here. Information, knowledge, closed book that maybe you're getting information about something that was closed. And this has something to do with your home, real estate, safety, familiarity, um, comfort. Yeah, something's changing, something's shifting, some luck around your home. Might be, you might, someone might be stressed about this, but it looks like it's going in your favor. And we only have one court card, just this, yeah, just this King of Cups. Okay, so let's see what the scoop is on this King of Cups. Gift. Immature contact okay so may you feel this person might be immature but they're going to contact you and here come with a gift and we have here ah but it has a price tag on it mm. or else the gift is, is costs a lot of money that could be too maybe it's a costly gift or there's a price tag for this gift i don't know i actually like this person's energy so i think it's all good but then again, take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for everyone. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with, Aries. What are the signs? Cancer. Gemini. Leo. Cancer. Aries and Capricorn. So this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Cancer, Gemini, Leo, Cancer, Aries, and Capricorn. Now we'll do the letters. So we're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have R, K, A, J, Y, Q, Y, G, U, Q, F. Okay, so letters we have for you, they are R, K, A, J, Y, Q, Y, G, U, Q, F. Now for the names. Let's get 11 more names. Let's see what else come up here. Might need some more, but we'll see. Uday, U-D-A-Y. We have Jade, Rhea, R-I-A. Um, Justin, Corin, C-O-R-R-Y-N. James, Tanya, T-A-N-Y-A. Rishma, R-I-S-H-M-A. Reina, R-E-Y-N-A. And a new. I need one more. And we have here Chastity, C H A S S I D Y. Okay, those are names. Remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Something might resonate with you more when the other placements. Might give you that missing link, that missing piece. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. Also, at the end of each one of these readings, you will see a little thumbnail pops up. If you click on that, it will be the previous reading I did for you guys, which was something unexpected. So something you weren't expecting, something that's getting exposed, something that uh, you might want to know about. Or you might be surprised to know about. And if you don't um, want to watch that, I hope you catch the next one. But I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.